Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Canadian Car Biggers with a very, 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 very different video than you would expect. Uh, while I was at my local card store, these guys, they were telling me, uh, one of the guys there, about MetaZoo, which I'd heard about before in a sports card investor video uh, with Steve Aoki where they were talking about MetaZoo. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting it's kind of like a like a new trading card game like pokemon but also kind of like magic it kind of feels like it it's like taking a bit from both but uh we're gonna check it out this is a first edition opening so <clears throat> this is first edition of nightfall so this is a spell book they call it or whatever but in each of these is 10 booster packs. So that's really what we're focusing on. There's also the holographic promo card. So everything else, not too worried about. This is for if you were playing. So token sheet or a deck. The sleeves, rule book, metallic coin. Not too worried about those. But we're going to open this up. This is just, this is kind of a, more of a card investment type thing. I want to see what these cards are like. <clears throat> These could be a really good opportunity for wax investing, maybe. Uh, just so you guys know, none of this is like financial advice or collection advice. This is just my musings. I'm not recommending doing anything per se, but I might give, you know, or at least my recommendations are not, you know, responsible. Um, let's see. All right. So we're going to jump into this. So this is Nightfall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the box, remove the elements that I don't really need. Well, that didn't go well. So like you get like a play mat and stuff, rule book. So our sealed one that we got was Nightfall. So this is what the cards look like. They got that on the back. So MetaZoo. Then... Um, interesting. So this is like a spell. So that's how they look. Kind of the red border and stuff. <clears throat> so this, I'm assuming, these are the tokens. So cosmic, or oh no, this is the aura thing. The aura deck. So I don't know what that means. I'm assuming though, those aren't really anything too special. Then we have our booster packs right here. This, these are the sleeves. You can see our, the token sheet the stuff kind of popped out. And then the coin, which I'm assuming is maybe just a flip thing. Cryptid Nation, first edition. <clears throat> so there's that one. Put that box over here and I'll use the other one. Hopefully I don't rip it. So yeah, we'll keep that one in the pack because we can see what it is. <clears throat> no point, you know, impacting the value by opening it. Some people might want it unopened. You never know. Let's see if we can get this open without busting it like the other one. Perfect. So we got another one of those pads. So, okay, so the sealed card was the same for both. So chances are you'll get Nightfall. So I got two of these. Nothing really that special, probably. So we're going to grab the boosters out of this bad boy. And there we go. I don't really know what to expect from this. I don't know how much the art varies. You know, for instance, Magic has some interesting variations. Um, but I genuinely don't know what to expect from this at all. This is a completely new thing. I only know that with this set, <clears throat> like that's the Wendigo. The, this set is like cryptids, so it's, it has to do with like, um, you know, the Sasquatch, aliens, Chupacabra, stuff like that. So, yeah, we're going to give this a whirl. It's interesting. Does it put anything about odds? Darkness falls, and in the cover of the night, darker beasts find sanctuary and pray to hunt. So, North American cryptids into the MetaZoo universe. So, I think the MetaZoo is meant to be like animals and cryptids maybe or something hence why it's like meta zoo it's not quite a normal zoo but okay there we 
we go. I'm trying to be like somewhat careful, but sometimes that first pack it takes a bit to figure out how to actually open them. All right, so there should be foils and stuff like that, and possibly parallels. But first up, we have Ami Cook. Interesting looking thing. Then we have Nightmare. That looks cool. Kind of an interesting Pokemon, but darker vibe kind of thing. You can see that almost looks like ghastly. Possession. Excavation. So these have hollows and stuff like others do. A little bit of fluff on the table. Um, Thane Death. That looks like Baymax. Simultaneous Bioluminescence. Nightshade. Ooh, we got ourselves, I'm assuming this is a reverse hollow. That's a familiar. So what I'm doing is because these are first edition, I'm trying to sleeve pretty much just like everything up. Just because, you know, first edition sets and things, people are willing to, willing to pay to complete a set. In certain styles, you never know. Or not complete a set, but get them. So this is a familiar. So just kind of like the normal thing. A familiar helps you out if you're a wizard or sorcerer or whatever. <clears throat> Next we have Thunderbird. So that's actually based off of North American uh, mythos from the First Nations people. Not sure which particular ones uh, which have the Thunderbird in their mythos. But uh, I know... Uh, local university here, University of British Columbia. They are the Thunderbirds after that. <clears throat> we got ourselves a Shadow Token. Then we have Ground. Ah, yes, Ground. And then Spirit Aura. So you can see these all have first edition at the bottom. So anything with that is going to have some, some heft to it as far as collectability. There's that one. Gone. So first up, we have Destroy Aura. That one took a little damage in the corner, maybe. Or just the cut. We have Ludwig. So it's a vampire of sorts. We have Sam's Holy Water. Some say this holy water is collected from the tears of Sam. Weird. Mermaid Shimmer. You can just see the little tail pass by. Then we have ourselves Graveyard mu or Graveyard's Mud. Spooky Kite. We have Robert the Doll. That's That'd be creepy. What? <clears throat> oh, we got a Potion Cellar. Reverse Hollow. Definitely look at that Pokemon style. 100% Pokemon. It's like Pokemon for the art meets magic for the tone as well as the card design. That's the vibe I get. <clears throat> uh, permafrost. Tentacle token. Oof. Uh, daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. That's from BBC Animals Talking or whatever. It's pretty funny if you haven't seen it. <clears throat> On to the next one. We're just trying to see if we get anything, you know, that down the road will be super, you know, like Black Lotus, that kind of thing. So we have Absorb Aura. We have a Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain. I also don't know if they have rarities. <clears throat> That's not something that I didn't really see. So I think it's just types. Then Tribe Tirade. Frostbite. Then we have Boost Aura. Sinister Shadows. Robert the Doll again. Ooh, Wood Devil of Coos Country. Okay, so I think the top left might be Rarity. So let's just quickly have a look here. So these are silvers. Let's keep let's keep it separated like we normally do with like magic and stuff like that. Nope. Oh, permafrost is a gold. Robert the doll, you creepy as hell. And I'll straighten these out after. 
Oh, Thunderbird. So that one's a that one's a mythic. What we call it mythic. Perfect. Okay. So we got these organized by rarity now. So that's good. That's what we want. It's like what we do with magic. We do the base cards and then rare and stuff. So we just pulled ourselves a Wood Devil of Ku's ca uh, Country. This is a reverse hollow. Uh, we're going to call it rare because you got common, uncommon, rare, and then maybe there's a tier higher, who knows? But I didn't see much info. And then we have Headless Coal Miner. That's cool. Then to finish off the pack, we have ourselves Nameless Token. Okay. Then a Desert. And then Lightning Aura. This is kind of cool. This is kind of fun. Let's see. So first up, we have Emmy Cook again. Then we have Walla Walla Lake Crustacean. Tehihan. Okay. Beware the bloodthirsty Tehihan, for they have many friends in both small and tall places. We got Static Wand. Murfisboro Mud Monster. That's cool. Or Murfisboro. We got Spectre Moose. <laughs> as a Canadian, I can appreciate the moose. They're terrifying as hell. We got Robert the Doll again. Please leave me alone. Ooh, here's our reverse hollow. We got Lightning Alley. That's a cool looking one. They've got a very waxy feel to the cards too, which is interesting. Lightning Alley. Then we got ourselves Flood the Earth for a rare. We got a dynamite token. Go bam! Uh, there, a river, and Frost Aura. This is, this is interesting. I like this. I like MetaZoo. This is fun. And neat. It's cool to also see, like, cryptids. I'm a fan of stuff like the Sasquatch and that. Uh, so we have Blessed. Then we have Luferlang. It's like a wolf meets a spider. Gross. We have T. Kettler. Oh, it's a little doggy. Then we have a Poltergeist. Bloodlust. Headless Nun. Oh, boy. Dampen. Then, oh, this one is our first non rare reverse hollow. So, reverse hollow of Kinderhook Blob. Still going to sleeve it. I guess I can just put these, like, under their respective thing. That probably makes more sense. Or maybe above it, just so it's highlighted, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Oh. Then we have Boil Over, which is a rare, followed by a Nameless Token, Daytime, Lightning Aura. I know I shouldn't have those together, but it's just for the ease of things. So first up, we have Absorb Aura. Then we have Water Baby of Massacre Rock. Oh, creepy. Then we have the Columbia River Sand Squink. What? Or Skink? No, Squink. Skink? We have Familiar. Then we have the Boogeyman. These would have been good for opening for Halloween. Uh, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, Dampen. Ooh, this time we got an, a hollow of Lightning Split. That's cool. So the big one that we want to look for is the Wendigo in this. That's the big one, people. Or the Mothman. But I think Wendigo is uh, more specialer. And then we have the Red Ghost. 
creepy looking. And then we have a zombie token, a lake, and water aura. All right, let's see. Crack this one open. So first up, we have air rods. Then we have land tax, deal 20 times damage to opposing target page or caster, jeez. Then we have the Columbia River Sand Squink again. Then we have a Feu Folo. Jack-o'-lantern bomb, heck yeah. Give me Green Goblin vibes, which makes me excited for uh, a Spider-Man movie. Uh, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia again. We've got the Unholy Fire. Then for our foil, it's a reverse hollow of the Wallawa Lake Crustacean. So we'll sleeve that up. Uh, put it there. Next up, we got Lightning Split, but just the base one. Then we have Dynamite Token, Daytime, and Light Aura. Decent amount, though, you know, for this. I know it's not a full blaster box, but, you know, it's, uh, it's an option. These, uh, oh, I didn't put them up for display. So you guys can see what I was opening, as if you didn't already know from the title of the video. It's MetaZoo, Nightfall. Uh, first up, we have the Axe, Axe Handle Hound. Okay. Then we have the Napa Rebobs. <laughs> Look at his butt. Then we have Static Wand, Columbia River Sand Squink, the Boogie Man again, Exquisite Stew. Hmm. Zombie Apocalypse, they happen. <clears throat> Ooh, Hell's Gate. That looks really cool. That one is a foil. I'm pretty sure. I think that's how you would classify them. So you got that one. Very pretty. Then for our base rare, we got Twin Meteor. Then we have a Spiderling token, Farm, and spirit aura. Maybe I should start separating these. Let's see. Uh, auras to the time stuff. Tokens. Uh, let's see. All right, so I quickly just organize those off to the side just so I can keep this to being like more the basic standard cards or whatever. Hark the hero do 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 boo. Um, all right. Let's see. So first up, we have Arkansas Snipe. Interesting. That's just a mosquito, you guys. Walla Walla Lake Crustacean. Jack-o'-lantern. Poltergeist. Then we have Banish. For an uncommon, the Werewolf of Defiance. It's killed somebody. <laughs> Dispel Evil. I'd use that on the Werewolf. Then we have Adam Ackler. Is that the, is, is that the guy that's in the... Uh... Yeah, okay. So the Lightning Flash. Like, that is Adam Ackler then. That's cool. So we got we're kind of getting his whole continuity. Let's see. So we got that one sleeved up. Next up for our just base rare is Born from the Earth. Then we have a Spiderling token, a farm, and Flame Aura. Oops. Let's see. On to the next one. Hoping Wendigo would be nice. Even a Mothman would be good. Those are kind of like the ones that I've seen uh, selling for the most on eBay right now. So I'm basing that on, you know, they have value. Uh, Black-eyed children. That's creepy. If I had little children like that show up on Halloween, I'd boot them in the face. No question. Uh, Water Baby again. The Sand Squink. 
Smoky Spirits, Feign Death, Crystallized Light, whoops, we skipped, Vampire Mercy Brown, that's cool. Then we have Momo. Despite its habit of terrifying hikers and picnickers, Momo is rather peaceful and just wants to protect the forest it calls home. It just wants to chill, y'all. Just wants to chill. So we'll get that. That one's a reverse hollow. Very cool. If you guys know more about MetaZoo, any of you watching, feel free to correct me on any of my specifications. I'm kind of feeling the vibe, figuring it out. It definitely feels a bit like um, magic meets Pokemon, for sure. Next up, we have Lightning Alley. Then we have a Zombie Token, a River, and Light Aura. On to the next pack. These are fun. This is interesting. It's kind of like a Pokemon without the anime or the cartoon. So, we have Aura Prowess. Then we have Nightmare again. Trinity Amulet. That's a new one. It's got uh, First Nation kind of vibes to me. Smokescreen. Then we have Brain in the Jar. Sometimes that's how mine feels. Crystallized Light again. Dover Demon. Then we have Murphy's Boro Mud Monster. So that's our first common hollow. Oops. So we got that one. So now I got one, uh, at least a hollow of every rarity. Then we have Divine Covenant. Not sure how they're connecting, but it's a weird way. Um, so there's that. Then we have Stained Glass Token, uh, Dawn, and Dark Aura. So I think this is the Wendigo. That looks familiar to me. I was watching like a cryptid hunting game. I, can't, I think it was Jack, maybe Jacksepticeye playing it, but um, yeah, they were trying to get a Wendigo. It was terrifying because it just kept screaming. Uh, Ami Cook again. Land Tax, Excavation, Sam's Holy Water, Brain in a Jar, Exquisite Stew, Dampen, so here should be our foil. We got a Kalupalik, Beastie Demon. That looks cute. So we'll sleeve that one, so that is a Uncommon. Then we have a Lightning Alley again, Stained Glass Token, City, and then Spirit Aura. I don't know if they have the equivalent of a Mythic Rare, or, or sorry, not Mythic, uh, Mystic Rare. Mythic Rare is like, wow. Mi or, what is it? Mystic, Mythic Rare? Oh, I can't remember now, I'm confused. Um, Axe Handle Hound, Water to Wine, Excavation. Smoky Spirits. We got the Jack O' Lantern Bomb again. Copy Cup. Nightshade. Ooh, Obsidian Obelisk. That looks so cool. Just how they made it so much darker than everything else. It just feels like a vacuum of light. Like it's a black hole. That's cool. That's a cool looking card. I like I just like that. The obsidian just being so dark and light absorbing that's neat that's a cool one and then for our last card we got oklahoma octopus y'all i'm just an octopus from oklahoma i don't want to cause no problems oh i don't know why i sleeved that one that wrecks everything i'll probably sleeve them but just for the aesthetic of things it's the foils that get sleeved stained glass again city and then earth so I haven't noticed, like, a printing vibe. You know how, like, in sports cards and stuff, you kind of be like, okay, this is this is the chain, right, of printing? I don't feel that from these too much. They feel pretty random. Aura Prowess. Napa Rebobs. Oh, it's considered a beastie Sasquatch. Beastie Sasquatch. Um, Artifact Imprisonment. Mermaid Shimmer. Banish, Torrential River, that's cool, and 
no, never mind. It's the next one. Robert the Doll again. And we got Old Books Crying Tree. It's Crying Blood, I think. Ooh. Artifact Essence is what that is. That's cool. Next up, we have River of Time for our rare and tentacle token. Meteor Shower and Cosmic Aura. It's not bad bang for your buck. I did think these were cheaper and I didn't realize because I didn't see what they rang up as. Thought they were 36 bucks, but I could I probably was just reading things wrong. Um, Absorb Aura, Water to Wine, Sand Squink, Possession, Brain in a Jar again, Purple Blob of Philadelphia, Destroy Terra. Ooh, hey, we got another Hell's Gate. That one looks cool. Give me a Wendigo. That's what I need. Need me some Wendigo. Unless those are only available in certain packs. But So another one of those. And then for our rare, we got ourselves Momo. Then we have a Nameless Token. And I think nameless are a type of thing, maybe. I don't know. Or it just has no name. Uh, and it's just used for whatever. Then we have winter and light aura. All right. Okay. First up, we have air rods. Cosmic warp. The Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. That's creepy. And then Frostbite. We have Boost Aura. Basically Super Saiyan. Uh, Holy Eyes. Nightshade. And then Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain is what we got for our foil. So that one's just a common. Still looks weird. It looks like a seal. Next up, we have Adam Ackler, just his base card. Then we have Dynamite Token, Winter, and Light Aura. On to the next one. We have three more packs after this one, I believe. 20 packs overall. So we got ourselves Aura Prowess, Cosmic Warp, Tribe Tirade, Imprisonment, and we have Banish, Spooky Kite, Unholy Fire, and ooh, we got the Boogeyman. Oh, I thought that was something different just underneath this one. So our Reverse Hollow Boogeyman. Then I thought this was a Wendigo, but it's just Righteous Reckoning. It's a spell. But maybe we're close. Tentacle Token, Full Moon and earth aura you can tell though the you can really see the distribution of the cards right it's like it definitely feels like you've got yourself like 75 66 and then maybe 25 or something like that for the likelihood of getting it uh, next pack Definitely doesn't feel like Christmassy stuff. It's very Halloween-y. Um, but definitely let me go know what you guys think about this. It's definitely a trading card game, so the value isn't quite like sports cards, but still very interesting. Uh, Destroy Aura. Water Baby of Massacre Rock. Imprisonment. Jack-O-Lantern. Then we have Index. The Werewolf of Defiance. The Bloody Hand Boy. Uh, which is lightning. Ooh, we got Flood the Earth, actually. Flood the Earth. I think this might be one of the most valuable ones in this set. Maybe. I could be wrong, but it does look like a familiar name. So I'm just going to quickly yoink a top loader and just put this in here just in case. Because if this is, if 
the top one, then you got to make sure you've got it put aside and protected. But I, I think Flood the Earth might be the top one on TCG players price guide for it. Uh, we have Boil Over as our rare. Then we have Dynamite Token, Meteor Shower, and Lightning Aura. So these are our last two packs. See what we get. So we got ourselves Dark Lightning Orb. A lot of lightning in this. Uh, Cabbage Town Tunnel Monster. That's funny. The Sand Squink again. Static Wand. Graveyard's Mud. Copy Cup. That's interesting. Robert the Doll, you creepy bastard. Hey, we got Jack Frost. That's a little more Christmassy. Uh, yeah, we got his Reverse Hollow. That's cool. Nice to get a little bit of Jack Frost this time of year. You know what I mean? So that's cool. A little Jack Frost there. Boil Over is our base rare. Then we have Stained Glass Token, Lightning Storm, and Lightning Aura. So here's our last pack. I'm hoping maybe we get that Wendigo, but I think the Flood one might be the top one. Could be wrong, though. Uh, Black-Eyed Children, Lufer Lang, Iliamna, Iliana Lake Monster. Don't know if the M's pronounced or not. Sand Squink, Bubbling Brew, Torrential River, Zombie Apocalypse. Hey, we got Thunderbird Hollow. That's cool. That's a nice one to get to end that. A little more close to home. So the Thunderbird. Then we've got the Oklahoma Octopus. And then a Shadow Token. Meteor Shower. And Flame Aura. So that's that. That's all the packs. That was interesting. Um, so I quickly had a look. Uh, Flood the Earth. It's not the most expensive one in this set. It had a good price for a thing, but um, I'm trying to remember which one was the top one. The one that would have been really good was, um, what was it? Righteous something? Yeah, the Righteous Reckoning, if we had a foil of that, that would have been worth something. I'm not sure what the base card is, but um, not too bad. That was fun. That was enjoyable to open up. A lot of these cards I'm basically going to top load and put aside for the long term and just hope all goes well. Um, honestly, most of these I'll probably quickly skim through, check for the best quality ones, and put them aside, and then one day maybe, you know, get them graded if... Meta Zoo keeps going, but uh, yeah, no, that was really enjoyable. I like that. They're they're fun little cards. I think there's a lot of options they can go without worrying too much about some canon meta universe like Pokemon, um, and they're not reliant on whatever that parent company kind of does. So yeah, yeah, I like it. I I thought that was fun. That was good. It's really hard to get your hands on uh, on this stuff just because it's limited. But, um, yeah, that was MetaZoo Nightfall. So there is the MetaZoo Cryptid Nation, which is, like, the base set, I think. Um, kind of like if you were to have Pokemon and Sword and Shield. But then you have Pokemon Sword and Shield, Shining Fates, right? Like, that is what Nightfall kind of feels like. So, um, yeah, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Steve Aoki, if you're watching this, give it a thumbs up. Um, same with the rest of you, but, uh, yeah, it's very cool. Uh, definitely was a little fun, open, possible long-term investment. We'll see how it goes. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a big player of these games. Um, just, oh, I'm realizing the nightfall. Wow, I'm an idiot. The reason it's nightfall is because, like, the box is nightfall. I'm an idiot. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so we'll see how this goes long term. Like I said, you guys know I don't really play the trading card games. I'm more about being a collector, so definitely was interesting. A lot of duplicates. But yeah, the distribution's not too bad. To give you an idea, um, 
of just what's what. Obviously sleeves will adjust things a little bit, but these are our, all our commons. These are our uncommons, including foils, and these are our rares, including foils. So, and then you're gonna have the two variations. You're gonna have hollow, which are gonna be more um, like this, where it's just kind of everything. And then you're gonna have reverse hollows, where it's just kind of one thing in it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of Meta Zoo. It's interesting. You know, long term, will I be a big collector of it? I don't know. Depends on the market and stuff like that. Um, the reason I don't do a lot of Pokemon these days is you just, you know, they're kind of fun to open, but there's a lot of repetition and uh, a lot of duplicates and stuff like that compared to, say, sports cards where, sure, you do get that a little bit, but there's enough variation um, of all the players and stuff, and then you get the autos and inserts and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it was fun, though. It was interesting. I'm curious to see where it goes. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you guys are new to the channel, um, I open up a variety of trading cards majority of the time it is baseball but uh you know i wanted to give metazoo a try so if you like any kind of opening of packs not just this um definitely give a follow everything i open is part of my own collection i don't do breaks and things like that um everything you see is my own so um any support is appreciated to help the keep so help sustain the channel that's the biggest thing because I'm not making money selling you guys cards and chances at cards and stuff. And I, you know, I don't, I don't plan to, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for the support and, uh, yeah. Have yourself a great rest of your day, your night or your morning, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.